GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and we are here doing the Ultimate Iron Man Season 2 competition. Yep, I'm just giving you an update here. Um, yeah, so you can see, oh crap, why did I do that? <laughs> uh, you can see that I am at the wreckage. Well, that's because I'm going to show you something here. Let's go into the debug mode. We're going to do structural integrity. And um, I'm going to show you what I did here. So you can see it's not nearly as red anymore. Well, I've taken apart a bunch of it already. So what I did was, well, I guess it's hard to see with the structural integrity tool turned on. Anyway, I put a bunch of concrete blocks down. So I put my core in and I did the connect to base thing, then ran blocks up into it. And that totally stabilized it. Completely stabilized it. It went from like pitch red everywhere almost to pretty darn good. Not too bad. So that now when I remove blocks, it doesn't all blow apart anymore. Well, I knew it was going to because I've seen this type of wreck where, where, it, where it's literally floating in the water without being buried. It just, as soon as you touch it, it goes boom. So I didn't want to do that. I put the core in and then put these supports in and that seemed to have done it because I've been able to take stuff out now. So yeah, and these are quite heavy, but I've been putting them in the factory because... I'm level seven now, and I have cooking my tiny little level seven capital vessel strictly for hauling crap around because it's it has a bunch of cargo boxes inside. And I found, like, look at how cheap this is. I've already got the Neo and stuff from a, just a handful of small, like, what, four, four or five small are not small thrusters, but medium thrusters, and boom. I got enough of the rare ores to spawn this in. So level 7, uh, I just need to put iron, silicone, and copper into it. Here, I've got some more steel blocks and whatnot. That's concrete. Okay. Um, here, we can take some oxygen really quick here. So you can see... I went around to, I've got a bunch of ore back at the base I can smelt down. But you can see now that I've no problem I can spawn in this capital vessel. So that's what I'm going to go do. Um, I'm going to finish nuking this thing down a bit, although I can't really carry anything and I, can, I don't want to put any more into the factory. I more or less want to take this thing here and strip it down and carry it all back. So... I think we'll just go put the ore in and we'll make we'll make some stuff to speed it up, although it's only 13 minutes left because I did put some stuff in it. Or you know what? You know what? Here, let's just keep... I'm going to keep collecting... Um, I'll keep collecting iron, at least, from this thing. I don't want to grab any of the thrusters, but... blocks themselves I'll grab and I guess level seven I should go um, build a large constructor and then whoa are those just hanging there two thrusters oh no okay yeah I got to be careful because I could destroy some thrusters with structural integrity screw-ups stuff off the top of them Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to do this for a bit here and add, it's, what's it adding here? It's adding sathium that I don't need anymore, uh, silicone, which I do need, put that in iron, okay, yeah, we're doing pretty good, yeah, uh, and I'm, I've easily got the copper back at, because I think I've got about 100 ore, so, yeah. Yeah, same with the silicone and iron. I probably got enough back at the base, but I'd like to, I'd like to get as much 
of the base materials out of this as I can. So iron, copper, and silicone. Take all these windows and stuff. They're really good for silicone. Oh, we've got these in here. Let's grab these. They're good for silicone also. Got these lights. Carbon substrate. Copper, I believe, the doors will give us. Copper and iron. Grab the shutters. Red blocks. Okay, that's fine. Well, they're not quite red. They're pink. E. Pinkish. Now let's grab these toilets and stuff. They're worth... Carbon sub substrate. I'm not gonna grab. The, I can't. Can't carry the engines, so there's no point in grabbing those right now. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll, oh, can't pick that up. Okay, so let's throw a bunch of stuff in here. Nice. Good. Good. And then couldn't pick up, so it should be yeah. And that's the old two station. You know what? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hold on to that. I think I'll go put that. I'll go grab an OTU tank. I don't think this thing has any, does it? Let's take a look at what it's got. No two. No fuel. No no gen. It's got a couple of landing gears though. CV landing gears. That'd be interesting. Um, but it's still got a ton of thrusters. Look at all those. Wow. Eight. Oh, a bunch of them are... Oh, yeah, the large one. Look at those medium ones. There are three medium and a large, and then another six medium. So it's nine medium plus another four medium is 13 medium. Another three medium is 16 medium. 16 medium and five small thrusters and one large. Wow. That's a lot I can take out of here. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, well, I will come grab you guys when I have this thing ready to sp spawn in. Welcome back, guys. So, here's what I've been doing at the base here. This is my uh, construction room, little, real basic, basic, basic. And then in the back here, I've got the um, water collection slash O2 capacitor room. I guess this will be, you know, it's like the generator room, basically, right? And then this is just a walkway out under the patio. Okay, gotta be careful. There's that my my little tentacle buddy comes out every once in a while. I haven't seen him in a while though. I might have made I might have destroyed his spawner by building on top of it. I don't know where his spawner was, but anyway. Um, so this is kind of the theme I'm going for. Is a real natural look to it. Uh, this is actually two bases joined together. It's really easy to do if you don't have Wi-Fi down. You can connect. A, uh, you can line it up perfectly, really easily, when um, when you're placing another starter. Uh, you can place it right up against your other base, and as long as you don't have Wi-Fi, it'll. You can place it right up against it. So that's what I found: is the Wi-Fi was the was restricting me where I was putting it. Uh, also, you could, you, you can't be like inside the perimeter of a base. And what I mean by the perimeter of a base is, so uh, if you connect all four corners of the base together, anything inside that would be, um, so, so the base is a cube in, in the eyes of, 
how the game is. It's a square, I should say. It's not, uh, well, it could be, it's a cube too, but anyway. Um, but it's a square, and anything inside that square, you can't place another starter in. Um, but what I have found is it'll allow you to build into another base's square if there's no other base blocks, if the other base doesn't have blocks in that square. So it's interesting. Anyway, I was just showing you, this is my other base that I made beside it. Now, the reason why I did this is just is solely so that the garden itself is protected against power outages from the construction room usage. Because I've run into that a few times where it's just, I've, I'm consuming too much power from the construction room. The solar panels can't keep up, blah, blah, blah. So this way, a separate base, and I could I could seal this off if I wanted to, and I may yet turn that into a hanger, a sealed hanger. But uh, um, so basically, the walls are actually double thickness because it's two bases built right side by side, like literally. The, now the tricky part about that when you're building is you can actually screw up and connect to the wrong base when you're building the walls and stuff. So you got to be really careful. So I was constantly like, I had to rename the both bases right away so that if you go in and, you know, you're checking out with your multi-tool to see what, who, what block owns what. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. So, and I did screw up a couple times. So I, you know, you got to be aware of that. And it's, it's a little trickier to build at first. Once you get, them built and blocks separated away from each other and building off from the bases at that point is really easy it's just it's a, it's normal it's just it's just the blocks that are touching each other and because they're technically not touching they don't support each other and they don't there's no um they don't seal against each other that's the other big thing and that's why i have double double thickness walls Okay, so right now we have another vessel ready to go. Um, because we found that wreckage, I was able to get this vessel ready. It's a little CV. Uh, it's level seven. It's ugly as sin, and it doesn't even, it, it, it has almost nothing. Now, oh man, is it going to be, oh no, see, I can get it there. I can get it right here. Let's shrink down. Get it down. Oh. Two, four, right there, right there. Let's do it. All right, so let's change our, no, it doesn't change it. Okay, that's fine. So we, uh, yeah, it's all, the, the video is all glitched out. That's fine. That's fine. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you will see this guy, this thing in action. It can... It can actually lift uh, about a hundred, no, about a thousand tons, uh, which is crazy for a level seven vehicle. And I'll show you what the stats were on it. If I didn't show you that before, it's really super ultra cheap. There's my little cargo hauler. Uh, the most expensive portion is the Neo at 270 and then the iron at 220 silicone 218 so these numbers are like are like starter starter vessel starter sv numbers you know and it's just a neo if you can find a source of neo right off the bat like those those cv mid-size cv thrusters that I was just able to throw into the factory right away so that yes I know it seems like an exploit that the factory isn't oh that video glitch drives me nuts I wish they I was hoping unity the new unity engine would fix that but it didn't <laughs> okay so um I'm gonna take that thing out and I can mine up the rest of the Prometheum and uh, multi-tool down the rest of that wreckage. And I can bring all that back here now easily with that CV. Okay. Um, that, yeah. I will come grab you guys uh, when 
I find something more than I also oh, I'll show you the map haven't found much I took the HV out and I got the Polaris um, revealed on this area closest to me so they have another Promethium deposit and I did their their first um, their repeatable one at neutral where you just go find a deposit now <laughs> that's an exploitable quest and it's repeatable so uh, sadly you can all you got to do is just get within 50 meters of a deposit drive away from the deposit and just turn around and get within 50 meters of it again and just keep repeating that until you complete the quest yes it's that easy and I can prove it to you by going and doing it right now let's go do that right now oh look you know what our food situation is not the greatest let's um let's deal with that go into the garden and do we have anything cooked nope let's cook something up really quick here uh, a couple of steaks so the constructor the food processor here uses the garden's power. It doesn't use the constructor's room power. So that's the other benefit too, is separating these. It also allows me to put um, 15 panels out for each. I don't have the mats right now. I have like no mats for anything. That's why I got it. I just barely had the mats to finish the base off to the point where it's where the garden's ready. Oh, it looks like it's ready to pick too, doesn't it? So we've got six of the pumpkins because they're um, going to be all of our protein for the most part. <laughs> um, there's all, there's this, this should get us, I don't know how many packs of emergency rations. It should get us three, I'm hoping, three or four. Then we'll have a bunch of spice left over, I guess. I might put some wheat here. Actually, I gotta find some grain though. Well, I'm gonna take this thing out, and you know what? Um, yeah, I, I'm just gonna take out the CV and go mine up that Promethium. So I will meet you guys there once I'm done mining it up, or if I find something else. Welcome back. So, as you can see, I am looking at a bunch of really cool stuff in my little cargo CVs, one of its cargo boxes, because in front of me, the unknown artifact, I was flying by, I decided to take some pot shots at it with the uh, um, <laughs> turret, and I opened up an area up top, and I, I can see a couple of cargo containers. So I blew them up with the minigun, and then I took the uh, uh, drone in and scooped up the con contents. So one of them is a CV warp drive, a pulse laser, 79 Xeno steel blocks, and three auto miner cores. I was on my way to the submerged tank over here that I've got marked. I got a core made and I'm heading over there because I have like no mats left. So, uh, but this thing is a, is a beast. It, it handles that 160 tons. No problem. <laughs> Good luck getting an SV to do that. Oh my God. So this thing is way cheaper than an SV to, to, uh, to build for cargo wise. Okay. So now there's another one. I swear did I see it when I went in with the drone and grab the stuff it's like up against this wall here i think hmm. so if we just shoot there okay let's jump in to the minigun i'm gonna zoom in just so it's easier to see They're up on this level. No? Okay. 
Let's go see where it is. It always makes me nervous without a catch railing to I get the heebie jeebies going to the edge of a ship like that. Hey oh doors bugger off. Oh it's one under. Oh okay. What I was shooting at. So it's the that emissive, that bright red emissive level. Okay. Okay, let's jump back in and waste some more ammo. <laughs> okay. Should be like right here. Oh, there we go. here <laughs> oh yeah this is a little tedious and slow come on where oh I can't see oh there it is okay so as soon as I pop it I gotta buzz over there with my drone so jump out and jump out got about 15 minutes or so, I think, with a container like that when it explodes. So, uh, and we are currently connected to this one again. So we got 160 ton in there. We'll just put it in the bar. So let's um, get that ready. And nice fusion cells. Excellent. And some more Xeno steel. We'll take that. A minigun. And a pulse rifle. Nice. Can't make those yet. Excellent. So that was, uh, that was, that was good, actually. I'll, I'll take that any day. Nice. Let's take a look at what we got here. Here, let's just uh, disconnect to dump it all in there. 171 Xeno steel blocks, bunch of fusion cells, the CV warp drive. So if we could, if we make a warp tank for this thing, we could just warp with this thing. Kind of crazy. Uh, mini gun and the pulse rifle. Well, I like the pulse rifle. We could probably put that to use right away. Excellent. Okay. Let's continue on to the... I know there's a ton more stuff in there. Um, and I think I'll probably pop... I'll, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'll go core hunting on it, really. I don't have tons of time. So I want to make my time really worthwhile. So, you know, those, those two easy containers there. And then I know there's some stuff in the submerged tank usually. So I think this should be an easy score. And I will come grab you guys when I get there. Okay, welcome back. We have a ton of critters around this thing. Like just, holy crap, there's a golem there. Let's uh, jump in our turret. And we'll try killing him. Okay, we'll just stay still. There we go, there we go. We got a line on him. Nice. Actually, I can zoom in. Yeah. <laughs> God, this thing's rotation speed is horrible. <laughs> oh, 
I can't get that one. Okay. So, let's jump out of the turret. Get our vision back here. I want to actually loot this golem. I want to loot the golem really quick here. Whoops! Or, you know, smash into the ground, too. I want to I wanna smash into the ground. I did that on purpose. I smashed into the ground on purpose. Okay. And then... So I'm not sure if they trigger CVs. I don't know if they get all... I don't know if they're going to attack a CV. They attack HVs and they attack SVs. I'm not sure about CV. Let's see. We'll see. I'm going to... I'm going to jump out. Oh! Wait, whoa, oh, oh, oh! A drone! Holy crap! Well, uh, that might be the first drone I have shot down. Well, I didn't. Technically, my turret did. <laughs> Thank God minigun turrets are only level 7 or something like that. Well, at least they're only level 7 or less. I, I forget what level they are. Anyway. Uh, okay, well, let's... Um, after having a minor heart attack here. Where's my light? Take my jetpack on, too. Just gonna, oh, I see it disappeared already. I didn't grab it fast enough. I just saw it disappear. Okay, screw it. Let's let's fly over to the drone really quick and try and loot the drone. Look at all these Otogs. Holy crap, that's insane. Here, we'll just level off. Jump out. Just loot it from here. Nothing can get me from here. Come on. Thank you. Okay. Well, let's see what the submerged tank has. We'll put a core in it and we'll, uh, we'll get close enough to Wi-Fi into it here. Let's level off and land right beside it here. Right, let's go back a bit and go over a bit there I think we're on it now we should be able to know right, let's... oh right because I don't have a core in it yet derp a derp so let's just land we're going to put this core in Uh, here, actually, turn the thrusters off. I mean, it's not so freaking loud. Spin my back around so that I can launch my drone. Nope, might not quite close enough to the door. Maybe not. Come on. There we go. There we go. And I'm just going to shut my door just in case a spider spawns and... I know these things are booby trapped now. See, there's some containers in there. Very sweet. Okay. So let's put a core in. And I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll just stick it there for now. Okay. Oh, what's going on? Oh, uh, that was just lizard meals? Uh, that's not a big deal. Okay. Okay, we can get radar from here. Let's check out see what it's got. So we've got our small... Well, that one's almost full, but that's fine. It's because of these. So 300 tons. We flew over here with 300 tons, no problem. Uh, let's keep adding... I don't know how balanced this thing... If this thing's going to get unbalanced. So let's switch to another one. And we'll grab that one. And then let's see what the submerged tank. Oh, yes, score fuel and an advanced constructor. Some medium armor, hardened steel blocks, an uh, armor boost. Wow, that was excellent. Let's try this one. Uh, another armor boost, some satium, a T2. Oh, nice T2. T2, freaking multi tool. More armor. 
And more Sathium uh, T2 Pulse Rifle. Wow, okay. Uh, fuel and another auto minor core. Oh, what a score. What a score. Holy crap. Okay, so that's another 253 tons. Uh, the other box had 299 tons, so that's 550, 550 tons. Uh, what else have we got in here? Uh, not much in the ammo. Okay, 550 tons. Yeah, so that's how we, okay. Let's eat one of those. Um, 550 tons. Let's see how this thing performs. Turn the thrusters back on. Oh, what am I doing? Thrusters back on. And it's not quite as fast, but it's still pretty nimble. And it climbs. It flies. At 550 tons. I, I'm not really current. I don't care about the storage unit capacity because that's really not a factor with with flying vehicles. It seems to be just the weight. So 550 tons and this thing costs peanuts. 270 Neo. If you can get the 270 Neo and the 108 Sathium, the 100 Cobalt shouldn't be that big of an issue. So the 270 Neo and the 108 Sathium, and you can make yourself a really cheap level 7 CV that will replace any sort of starter vehicle that you need. Like if this this thing handles itself no problem. I can I can shoot stuff and it defends itself against drones as you saw. Um, yeah, loving it. Okay, so next episode I'll have a eight uh, an SV brought in for a com a little mini fighter jet. Uh, it'll for scouting so that I can scout the planet and find my mission and take out the defenses on my that are uh, around my mission so that I can bring in maybe this thing I'll put some some sentry guns on it and I can just take this thing over to it. For, and do my mission in this because it's got what I need I can put in like a clone chamber and stuff and some, some other healing stuff okay uh, so yeah next episode it'll be scouting the planet and hopefully uh, blowing up the mission defenses and uh, yeah so we're getting close to our mission time and I gotta get that done so so I will seize you next mission or next episode until then you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day <laughs>